Hi, my name is Kara Scott, and today we will be talking about nanotechnology in the animal kingdom and how friction relates to this topic. First, we need to address what friction is. It is the kinetic energy that is created when two objects rub together. This energy is usually produced in the form of heat. In water, friction works in all directions. As you can see in the picture on the screen, thrust is the direction in which something moves, the weight that is pushing down on the water from the object, buoyancy, which is the water pushing something up, and drag, which is the friction force. There are no completely frictionless environments in nature. Every single tiny movement deals with friction. In fact, because every tiny movement causes friction, that's why it's related to nanotechnology. Our textbook describes nanotechnology as having components with at least one dimension smaller than 100 nanometers. So friction fits in this category because it can be measured in such small amounts. One lesser known example of how nanotechnology is used in relation to friction is shark scales. They are 0 0.2 to 0 0.05 nanometers and they lay horizontal to the head to tail of the shark. These scales are what allow them to swim really fast through the water because they reduce the amount of hydrodynamic drag. Without these special scales, sharks wouldn't be able to dominate the waters as much as they do. To wrap up everything, we've talked about how friction is produced every day in every action, how friction can be measured on such a small scale that makes it relatable to nanotechnology, and lastly, we've talked about how these two concepts used together are what allow animals to fit into their environments to allow them to succeed. I hope you've been able to take away something from this video about nanotechnology in the animal kingdom. Thanks for watching.